They've discovered that soil gas and radon is mitigating into basements across Canada. In the construction industry, there is a concern about radon. It is, it is part of the building code, and we are supposed to be measuring and making sure that we create a barrier to radon when we construct a house. Radon gas can occur anywhere uranium is found, and uranium is found throughout Canada. The natural decay of rocks and other elements in there results in radon being released into the atmosphere, and that can penetrate into the home through the basement. So it's a tasteless, uh, invisible and odorless uh, gas. And when it's released into the outdoor air, it's not a concern because it dilutes in the air. However, if it infiltrates inside a home, in, inside a house or an enclosed space, then you have potential risks of lung cancer. Because a home is generally under a depressurized state in comparison to the outside, Radon gas, even though it's heavier than air itself, can be drawn in. Think, for example, of cracks in the foundation, uh, whether it's foundation wall or slabs. It could come through penetrations through the actual floor of the basement, such as like a sump pump pit or piping. Really any opening directly in contact with the ground. If there's any openings down there at all, any cracks, that gas from the earth, from the soil, can be drawn into the basement. And then, because it is heavier than the air, it will remain there and collect and build up to a certain density. So in the residential builds, if a homeowner is trying to control radon, they have many options. They can use the code described method, which involves a lot of caulking and sealing of cracks in the concrete. It involves using a polyethylene under slab vapor barrier and detailing that at all the termination points. So at plumbing stacks and at drains, it would have to be sealed. So it can be done, but it's very tedious. EASF teamed up with the National Research Council to conduct full-scale basement underslab testing with their wall tight CM01 for soil gas and radon penetration. We found with our testing with the National Research Council, the wall tight successfully stopped the penetration of radon into the basement. For underslab application to control radon, uh, wall tight is applied directly under the concrete slab. So right before pouring the concrete slab, you would have a certified applicator come in, apply, spray the wall tight all over the area to the required thickness, and ensure that everything is properly sealed, especially around penetrations and openings for pipes, for example. Wall tight has an advantage here because it can be applied to create a seamless layer. It naturally seals around penetrations. It's naturally seamless, and it's going to create a more effective barrier to radon because of that. Having a CCMC number for wall tight for radon uh, control means that the homeowner can be assured wall tight was tested for that type of application and it's been tested with a federal agency. Um, it's not just a marketing claim that you find online or um, in a pamphlet. Wall tight is a three in one product. It's an insulation material uh, with a very high R value. Um, it's also an air barrier and it controls radon. So by using wall tight, you ensure that your house is warm, you save on energy, and you ensure that you're not gonna have high levels of radon. It's a very exciting use because it opens up new opportunities and it's new solutions for home builders to offer to the homeowners to provide co-compliant solutions.